week 13 continues as we head to Honolulu, where the Wavefinders will welcome the cadets. Checking the standings, the cadets need a victory here to get into second place in the Pacific. Uh, and, well, Wayfinders are just not going to make the playoffs. So, that's that. <laughs> Wayfinders are not looking too great right now. They did uh, have a three win streak recently. And now they're on a two loss streak. There are a couple of um, not super close games. And the Cadets are on a one loss streak after losing in a shout out to the Sea Dogs last week. We've uh, had a up and down season. Uh, but hoping, hoping to get the win today. So let's get into it. We're going to Honolulu and gonna have a little bit of a rain shower for today's games. Let's do it. Alright. Evening game here in Honolulu. There it is. Currently a light shower, 78 degrees Fahrenheit, very cool. And Wayfinder starting strong. It's the Vulture for 28 yards. Great start here for Honolulu. Who's their Fortune? Fortune's their quarterback. Fortune and I think Redden. Redden being one of the worst uh, running backs in the league, so they're definitely going to be looking at the pass. Where is Redden? Let's see. Him. There he is. Uh, Rubro, good pass there, 13 yards and the first down. Fortune, not one of the best quarterbacks in the league, but he's definitely up there with the 1,064 total yards this year, this season. Ready, uh, It's a uh, an average of two interceptions per game. That might be their undoing, but here is Redden, a decent seven-yard run. Fortune has been struggling to get touchdowns, uh, passing touchdowns, this year so far. And it's fourth and short. Not enough for the first. Ready, break. That's going to bring out Kurtz for the extra point, and that's going to be not good doing. Missed the 40 yard. Uh, one of the few kickers to have missed a field goal this year. Along with um, Hood of the Oklahoma City Twisters and Gist of the uh, Omaha Cutter. Those are the only ones to have missed a field goal. Oh, and Moran of uh, Phoenix Devils. Those four kickers are the only kickers in the league to have missed a field goal. <laughs> Anyways, we're missing the action. Uh, well, we got three down on that one, and it's uh, one down. Well, I missed that whole drive. <laughs> And uh, no punt return there. Good punt there on the 10 yard line. Is it Foster who's the quarterback for the cadets? I, w I didn't see. Fortune. Able to miss the sack and the interception. And that throw. Fortune again. 
Oh, Fulcher with the catch. Bryant knocks it out for the incompletion. Red is third Bryant. in. Good catch by Fulcher. Diving catch for three yards. And that's uh, going to bring up fourth down. Boyd with a 10 yard return. It sets up the cadets. Uh, almost inside Wayfinder territory. Yeah, Foster. Good catch there by Haynes in traffic for 16 yards. And first down. Uh, who's the running back? Is it Hill? No, Hanson. Oh, Hanson up the middle. 14 yards, almost got away. It was 16 yards. Almost got away. Hanson, he's uh, middle of the road, 187 rushing yards so far this season. Off pass to Gibson, but he makes the catch for nine. Ready, right. Yeah, nothing spectacular in uh, Hanson's uh, stats. He's kind of below average. There by Wilkerson for four yards and the first. And Foster isn't doing so great this year either. He's kind of average total yards. Um, he's definitely suffering on the passing touchdown side of things. With uh, just uh, five. Which is not good. Foster getting sacked by Malik Hammonds. Huge loss there. Third and 12. Foster is tied for fourth? Third? No, fourth in uh, total interceptions. That does not bode well for the cadets. And now fourth down. Field goal from Walker. And it's good. Short 27 yard chip. Gets it done. Gets it done. Ready, break! Ooh, dangerous pass at the middle. Oh, that was when he intercepted. Rick Black with the deflection. Ready, break. Looking at the Cadets defense on the stats side of things, they're above average in performance so far this year. Tied for fourth in total sacks with 23. And leading in total deflections. Wow. Wow. But uh, what a ooh, good pass there to Fulcher to keep the drive alive. 12 yard catch for the first down. Ready, the issue with the Cadets defense, though, is that they are one of the worst at interceptions with just three for the season. Right in with a six yard run up the middle. Ready, break! Back pass. Ooh, big throw. Ends up deflected by Chapman. Ready, fight! Third and four. Not a good throw with the middle from Fortune. That's going to bring it fourth down. Ready, fight! Joe with the punt. That is a good one. Out, out of boundaries line at the seven yard line. 
So Foster in a bad spot. He's going to give it to Hansen for the run. He's got plenty of room. 25 yards on the run. Wow, 50 yards over just three attempts. He is doing very good. It's five yards on the run. Ready, break. Foster, no one open. He makes a chance anyways, and it's incomplete. Look at the deep inside of things for Honolulu. When it comes to stats, <clears throat> they are uh, one of the worst defenses in the league. Not looking too good. They managed to get the stop here. Anderson with the punt. Ooh, ooh, is that on the one? Ooh, the two. Ready, Great right break. there. Just a minute left. Dangerous spot. Oh, true it with the one yard loss. John Peterson there. Ready, break. And they get the safety. No run from Redden, seven yards. Still a bit of breathing room. Ready, break. Right, one, two. Right, one, two. Hut, hut. Fortune. Oh, good def uh, deflection there from Rios. That cadet's defense. Ready, Leading break. the league in deflections really coming in. Clutch here against the uh, Honolulu offense. Ready, break. Ready, break. Just ten seconds left in the first half. Oh, Foxer with the throw up the middle. Boyd with the catch, but gets knocked out by Sutherland. Ready, break. One second. This is the last play of the half. That's will be getting the ball back for the second half. And that's the half. So low scoring affair here. Cadets with three points. And um, looking at the offenses, again, not much happening. Uh, I might change the sliders for... Uh, uh, for week 14 in the playoffs. Any offense is doing much. <laughs> uh, anyways, distraction. Uh, Foster, six out of eight. 43 yards, not doing much there. Fortune, five out of 13, 67 yards. Hansen, six rushes and 62 yards. He's having a great day today. Is that above average for him? I think it is. Redden, three rushes. 20 yards. Yeah, Hanson, Hanson's uh, max yards per carry is 8.5, so he's uh, doubling that this game. Uh, Redden. Yeah, he's, Redden's doubling it too. So the, uh, the rushers are uh, having a good day. So far. Yeah, nothing much going on in the passing. I think it's uh, thanks to the defenses. Look at all these deflections. Five from the cadets. Well, just one for the wayfinders. But cadets defense really know, knows how to get those deflections. 
Okay, continuing into the second half. <clears throat> As the sun sets here in Honolulu, still raining. The cadets get to go. Start off. Second half. Ready, break! Foster all the time in the world. Pass to Gibson for seven. Maybe Foster can uh, Ready, get something break. going. I still haven't made the draft class for season two. I, I don't know if I'm doing a season two just yet. I kind of want to. I still got to figure out the postseason, so I'm going to figure that out after the playoffs, I think. Ready, break. Um, but if there is a season two, debts are going to be... Uh, Looking to mix things up with their quarterback for sure. I'm pretty sure. Foster has been not doing so well. And the cadets with their, their running back, Hanson. I think they'd be really powerful, especially if they upgrade their, their O line. But they really just need a better quarterback at this point. <clears throat> So I formation, first down here, Hanson at the middle for three. Bring up the second down. Ready, break. Hanson again, five yards. Third and two. Ready, break. Five, one, two. Five, one, two. 0% uh, conversion rate on third down for the cadets, and that continues. With a great deflection there from Templeton. It's just him against three defensive men, so that's a really Ready, great break. play from him. Oh, wait, fourth down, and they're going for it. And they don't get it. Hansen unable to find the hole or break the tackle. Dunlap with the stop and the turnover. Giving the Wayfinders pretty good field position. Fortune. Another bad pass from Fortune. This one was deflected, but it was off target for sure. Ready, break. I think a lot of a lot of teams are gonna be looking for uh, new quarterbacks. The Fortune has been doing well. He's uh, sixth in uh, total yards out of what? Ready, 16 teams. So that's actually really good. Third and seven here, Fortune. Great pass to Stern, one to beat, doesn't get it. Does get 33 yards on the catch. There's Fortune coming alive. Red in though. Single yard. Redden is definitely a, uh, a pain point. Ready, right. Wayfinder's offense. Being one of the worst runners in the uh, in the league, but he does get the touchdowns. He throw with the first down. Redden's currently second uh, with rushing touchdowns in the league. Which is so surprising. Fortune. Great pass to Fulcher in the corner for the touchdown, and that puts the Wayfinders on the board and gives them the lead. Here comes Kurtz with the extra point, and it's blocked. Rick Black with the block, huge. That just that makes it to where uh, the Cadets can just get a field goal to tie the game up. That's massive. Ooh, Boyd with a great return. Ready, break. Awesome. Wide open shot to 88, and he misses it. Cadets very upset with Foster. I remember them being upset with him uh, during 
the uh, the preseason tournament. And uh, Ready, yeah, <laughs> doesn't have much of a future here. So still zero percent on third down conversion, but that changes with the pass to Boyd. Foster redeeming himself there. Ready, break. Off to Hansen up the middle. Eight yard run. Ready, Second and two. So clock winding down here for the third. That was a dangerous pass, but Gibson makes it work. Seven yard catch there. And there you have it for the third quarter. Wayfinders getting Ready, a touchdown break. but missing the extra point because of a block. Scores just three to six. Foster, great catch by Boyd, and they get the first down. Have to bring the chain out just to make sure. That's our in Wayfinder's territory here. Oh, I thought that was intercepted, but Boyd makes the catch off the deflection. Nine yards, just one for the first. with the run he's got the room oh he doesn't get the touchdown though 24 yards on the run he is having a great game Ready, break. absolutely great Hanson with the run up the middle for the touchdown that gives the cadets the lead Ready, back break. late in the game extra point it's blocked. Oh, <laughs> Sutherland with the blocked kick. That's huge. That allows the Wayfinders just to get a field goal to tie the game up. That was a massive block there. And here we go. Wayfinders. With the drive to answer the Cadets' touchdown. Bad throw from Fortune, and it's dropped. Ready, Looking at break. Hansen, his maximum, uh, or the most yards, his, his most rushing yards for the season in one game is 79, so he's breaking that by a lot this game. Ready, he's at like 113 right now. So, excellent day for him. Fortune getting sacked in the backfield. This is huge for the cadets. Peterson for 10 yards. Ready, break. Joe here to punt. Just three minutes left in the game. No return there. This gives the cadets excellent Ready, position break. too. We don't have to get. Too many yards to get in the field goal range. Hansen getting stuck. Fighting for the yards. Only gets two. Ready, break. Second and eight. They're going to be running this clock down. Doing that with running. Hansen, though. Stopped by Osborne. Third and ten. Hanson at the middle for seven yards. Not enough for the first, and I think they're outside of field goal range. Ready, break. Razor, razor. Walker is the second best kicker in the league. They don't go to him. They try to run at the middle. That's not enough for the first, and that's going Ready, to be a break. Wait, was it enough for the first? Wait, what? What? They're in the lead. We don't go to him. They try to run oh. out the middle. I'm dumb. That's I'm not dumb. enough for the first. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It was the cadets. And uh, we finally hit the point. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Very confused. 
Pass there at the middle. Third and two. Ready? Minute and a half left. They absolutely need this first down. They are outside of field goal range. Oh, deflected there by Bryant. They have to go for it here. A minute 20. Ready, break. Kurtz definitely does not have the leg for, for this distance. And another drop. That's a turnover. That's huge for the cadets. That could be the game there. Ready, break. Uh, oh no, y'all can't see the game. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, so much has happened. Y'all can't see it. I'm so sorry. Okay, well. <laughs> Lesson learned. Don't use the replay feature. Okay, well, third and 17. Looks like the Wayfinders will get the ball back. Are they not calling the timeouts? They are very bad about that. Cadets. Turnover intercepted there. Foster turns it over, having a pretty rough day today. Wayfinders. 26 seconds left in the game. Outside field goal range. Oh, incomplete. Got through the defense, but he was blocked by the receiver. 16 seconds. Big fighters can do this. Good catch there. Stern gets the first, and they have time left on the clock for a field goal to tie the game up and to go to overtime. They're not going to get the field goal. No, Fortune with the pass, please make it. No, you idiot. <laughs> oh, deflected by Bryant, and that's the game. Oh, <laughs> Wayfinders, why? Uh, I am this man right here. Wayfinders have the opportunity to tie the game up and go into overtime and they score under it. Uh, so, big disappointing loss here for the Wayfinders. Such a close game, 9-6. to six. Yeah, Great game. Definitely a great game. Foster, 12 for 17, only 89 yards. One, one interception. Foster averages 184 yards. On the least yards he's, he's gotten uh, this season is 138, so he breaks that record. <laughs> Fortune, 10 out of 25, 166 yards and a touchdown. That is a, a horrible completion percentage, but gets the job done. Does get 166 yards, but that's actually his worst performance of the year as well. Uh, yeah, not good. Hanson, though. Hanson was on fire. 18 rushes, 123 yards, and one touchdown. Definitely his best performance in terms of rushing. Uh, and in terms of touchdowns, this is actually his first touchdown of the season. Granted, I only started uh, tracking stats in like week seven, so there's that. Uh, anyways, Cadets offense uh, getting 220 total yards. It seems like it's the most we've seen today. Uh, yeah, Gibson, four receptions, 26 yards. No touchdowns. Boyd, three receptions, 30 yards. Yeah, the Wayfinders, Truett, with negative two rushing yards. Stern, 84 yards, with three receptions. Vulture, four receptions, 51 yards, and the one touchdown. 
defense, three sacks for the cadets, and uh, we'll use nine deflections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Yeah, nine deflections. No interceptions. They are definitely still leading the league in deflections. Wayfinders, uh, four sacks. Four sacks, two deflections, and one interception. High in terms of sacks for the Wayfinders. Where are they? Yeah, they're one of the the second worst in sacks this season. So getting four is a huge bump for them. Uh, we should, yeah, we should. Uh, Walker, one for one. Both kickers getting blocked to make the game more exciting. Kurtz, though, 0 for 1 on his field goals today. Not, not good. Not good. So that is going to do it. Uh, here today. So, Cadets squeaking out a win against the Wayfinders. And with that win... The cadets secure second place in the Pacific um, against the Dicers. So good for them. That doesn't really mean much. Uh, you can see the season one bracket here. Oh, I should zoom that in. I got rid of the losers bracket. I, I don't think we're gonna have a losers bracket for the postseason. Um, yeah, if you if you don't win a division, it doesn't really matter too much, though I guess if you get a better seed, you can go against uh, an easier team. There is some value. It's like the Cadets and the guys should just switch. So yeah, the Cadets could possibly face the airships instead of the Lumberjacks. That's, that's a pretty good incentive to uh, get second place in the division. <clears throat> Checking out the Cadets team. They break their lost streak of one with this close win. Yeah, ever since the AI took over for this team, I think it was week nine that the AI started playing for all the teams. Um, yeah, Cadets have just been, it's just been really close games. Except for the Sea Dogs game, obviously. Wayfinders, they continue their lost streak into three and they are going to San Diego to face the Sea Dogs looking for another loss I'm sure 